marshmallow12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple calculator using object orientated PHP. Um, now basically this is just going to be a very simple calculator and you may think differently about to create this um, but anyway first of all um, just like the intro version or the uh, the, the uh, basically the classes in the intro video I did about object orientated PHP um, the way I told you to structure it or the way I structure it rather uh, basically I'm just going to go over it once again it's just basically um, right, let me just get this up um, it's just basically a file of what we're going to work with index.php and in a folder called classes um, we have a calculator PHP file in there. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, so first of all, we're just going to work on the calculator class. Um, so let's just get started to create the class calculator. Oops. Okay, and we're going to have four field variables in this class, um, and they're all going to be private. So private input one or number one if you prefer and I actually change it to number one um, and then we're going to have number two the operator and the output um, I don't think we need the output actually actually yeah we'll have, we'll have an output Okay, so first of all, we're going to create um, public function set numbers. We're not actually going to put um, a constructor in this calculator class, which you might want to do, um, but um, I'm just going to leave the constructor out of this calculator class so in set numbers we require number one and number two to be passed through and basically we're just going to go this um, number one equals number one Oops. this number two equals number two okay and that's it okay so now we're going to create another one called public Function can't type today. Um, set operator and we're going to pass it the operator. Basically, just the same. This operator equals oops, operator. Okay. Um, public function calculate now and we don't need any uh, any uh, parameters to be passed through in the calculate one but so basically we're going to say if this operator equals a plus then we're going to do this um, output is equal to this input one plus this input two. Okay, so basically um, you're just putting uh, the the correct operator in there. So else if so right, so what I'm going to do is just actually copy this change that to a minus and then copy this again and then just change that to a minus just like that so basically you're just doing an else if um, itself if else ifs for the operators 
so we need two more of one four times. So times and one four divide. Okay. And then basically we can just put an else on here to say um this output equals an error has occurred. Yeah, it's two hours, isn't it? I'm not sure. Um anyway, just so that if none of these have been correctly inputted. Um, so if they've not entered the correct operator or if um, user calculator class will have some sort of form but since I'm just going to skip the form bit um, we're going to be knowing what we're passing through to this so it's not going to really be an issue but I'll show you what will happen um, with this one in a minute um, so now we're just going to say public function get output or get answer or something along the lines Basically, we're just going to um, return this get and um, not get output output. Okay, that's basically it. Okay, so that's the calculator class done. So into index.php, first of all, we have to um, include our require, as I like to use. Require classes for slash calculator.php. Okay, and then in the body, basically, I am just going to set a few numbers in PHP here. So basically, these numbers will be passed through post or something usually. So number one equals, um, I'm going to put five, but usually you would have something like number one equals dollar underscore post number one something like that you'll normally have and then that would then translate to uh, whatever number they pass through so number two uh, let's do four um, and same with the operator and they'll pass it through but I'm just going to uh, just I called that in for now so five plus four basically is what we're going to work with at the moment and then we'll change the operator to do times uh, divide and everything else so Okay, a variable called calculator, and that's going to equal new calculator. Okay, and then basically calculator set numbers uh, number one and number two. Calculator set operator calculator I want to calculate calculator and um, get output now obviously that won't actually output it that'll just return something so if we refresh this um, probably um, undefined method set numbers. Mm, let me just check that. Oh, set number. It should be set numbers that actually. Okay, so let's try it. Um, oh god, what's now? Undefined property calculator input one. Ah, uh, because it's if I pick up that straight away, it's number, not input. Number one, number one, number one, number two, number two, number two. Alright, I think we're good now. Okay, so there we go. We don't actually get anything because we need to um, echo what we returned out we can't just simply that's just going to return it and do nothing um, so what we have to do is put this in some sort of echo so if we just bring this down echo calculator get output that would work then so you see the output is 10 
5 plus 4 is not 10. Um, okay, let's just see what's happening here. Why is it? <laughs> That's a bit strange. Alright, um, I figured out what it was. In here, I've basically just put um, number 1 plus number 1. You've probably spotted that straight away. We need to change that to number 2. Just uh, another quick check. Number 1, number 1, number 1. 2, 2, 2. 2. Okay, so now um, we should get the answer as 9. There we go. Um, so then, basically, you can just um, do some other stuff if you like. So, um, I'm just going to simply add on something like a public function get number one and that will return this number one public function get number two return this Okay, so now basically what we can do is something along the lines of... Um, well, actually, to be honest, you didn't really need them, actually. You could put them in if you like, but... Um, do some getters in there. But you could just use the variables that have passed. So, echo... Number... Number one... Um, concatenate a... Base into that, incarnate um, operator um, number two, maybe equals could probably do that one like that. Okay, so let's see what we've got with that. 5 plus 4 equals 9, okay, and that's just simple. So what we can do is let's say if we change that to a times five times four we should get twenty. Okay, there we go. Five times four equals twenty. And then basically you can just do whatever you like with these numbers. Let's do seven hundred and eighty four. Three four five um divides. Now I'm not sure what this is giving me, this is just completely random. But it has done the math. And um, it's give you an answer of 2.27. 2.27. If you do a number format on that, get rid of all that, which so is 2.27 or something along the lines. Um, so basically, that's it. That's just a simple calculator um, in PHP object orientated programming. Basic calculator class, nothing too fancy. Um, and I will let you start creating and customizing your own version of a calculator classes. Calculator classes are basically calculators are a great way to actually get started in learning any language really because it just gets you involved in the code and just uh, it's an easier application to actually create. It requires um, just simple coding knowledge. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.